Here's a story that I'd like to tell about a boy that was born into what seemed like hell. The hell of the city, insecurity and strife. This boy surely wished for a new way of life. And then a dancer appeared one day in the park. A dancer of shadows and old Chinese art. He taught him Tai Chi and to follow the breath and to watch for the cycles of what was to come next. So he followed, he listened, he learned all the way. The breath was the horse that he tamed on that day. When all of his fears, they melted away. You see, the breath is the bridge and the link to your mind. And if either of them is watched, they will slowly subside. In stillness and silence, the result is the same. You see, the life that you cling to is only a game. But who is the author, the influence that is you? If you look all around you, you can see them too. They come in the shape of the ones that we hold dear. But on close analysis, even them ones are fear. But fear is illusion, believe me it's true. And if you connect to your breath, you find the peace that's within you. What's your name? Uh, I call myself him. I always have a place to live. I always have a place to live. Uh, I didn't have to like uh, connect with the rainbow. I chose to. Uh, I could go to Liverpool, um, stay with family, engage with the system, and get myself in a box. Well, I could do it, here. Yeah? I could just go to the homeless place and say like that, that. You know, I could do that if I wanted to. I don't want to, you know. If somebody come and said to me, oh, do you want this house? You don't have to pay rent. Yeah. And this, that, I, I, I go, yes, yeah, you know. Great, thanks. Um, but like, I'm quite comfortable living the way I'm doing, you know. Okay. Say if you're average, the house. Um, 30 pounds, 40 pounds a day, maybe. As you see, I don't buy food, really. Sometimes I do. My money, or the money that I, I like, generate here, has bought me a ticket to go to Hungary. Um, I'm generating money now, uh, so I'll have money when I get to Hungary and stuff. But like, when I'm in London, the only thing that I spend money on is tobacco, marijuana, coffee, and the bus, you know? Abundance grows as abundance flows. And it's only energy. Money is only energy. Do you know, like, it's not like, it's energy. You know, like, you hold on to it, you think like, oh, this... I go on about abundance. Abundance. Abundance is everywhere, you know? But some people think that they own abundance. Because, like, they've worked hard, or mummy and daddy left them a load of money or the one on the horses, or they're a drug dealer, or whatever, you know. Look at the loot, you know, it's not theirs. And like trying to keep hold of it makes us sick, you know. It's just a fluid energy, bum bum bum, just play with it, use it when you, you know, like when you need to use it. I could apply myself to anything and be successful at it. Absolutely anything, you know. Um, when I left Liverpool, I left um, a job. I was managing the support staff in three hostels. Yeah. Um, I was very successful in what I was doing. But you don't, don't prefer to do that now? Like, this is what I prefer. This is your, yeah, this yeah. Is your choice. Yeah, yeah. All three of my... Yeah, yeah, definitely. But then encourage anybody to do the same, not do what I do do what they're doing through their choice. Whatever it is they choose, to, whether it be a banker, whether it be a prostitute, do it through your own choice. You know? know what you're doing and think like, this is the way that I want to achieve it. And do it. Don't give a shit what anybody else has to say. You know? Now, now my family's in Liverpool. I'm going to Hungary to go to the Rainbow Gathering. Oh, okay. 
and uh, and hopefully to me so I've been walking with some um, wow Lithuanian goddess yeah mm. but where are you why do you leave but she's gone back to Lithuania yeah um, for a family wedding and stuff and she's on her way to California but like I'm hoping that like it's going to connect with me like over in Hungary No, no, no sons and daughters. I've got one brother, um, four sisters, handfuls of nephews and nieces, pockets and pockets fulls of nieces, kids, and cousins, and all this. My family name is Smith. Do you know Smith? So, as you can imagine, there's millions of us. I'm, I'm known as Mark Smith. That's the, like uh, legal. If you want to get all technical. That is the legal fiction that was created for me. Um, but I choose not to identify with that legal fiction. I don't consent to the law. The one who helps the pilgrim along the way is the one who receives the gift. That's what I say. Or, let me put it this way. Who be the beggar and what the beggar be? I walk within my own that stands over me, so who be the beggar and what the beggar be? I sit in peace, love, light and simplicity. There's no victim's cause as a consequence of me. So again, I ask a question of nobody in particular but me. Who be the beggar and what the beggar be? The one who builds the pilgrim along the way is the one